Here's some bivariate data that we'd like to study. There's a lot of things that would be interesting to see about this. It would be nice to see a scatter plot, maybe a regression line, correlation coefficient. But the first challenge is to get the data into R so that we can begin to work on it. This is an electronic document, so maybe I could just copy the... Uh, co oh, dear. Look at that. I'm not going to be able to copy a column, but I could copy all of that data. Copy that uh, with a Control-C command. I'm using LibreOffice uh, Calc. Look at Edit and Paste. It Oh, great. That helped quite a bit. Now I've got it in these columns, so I can come to that first column, to highlight that, and again copy, I'm do and pull up a copy of my favorite uh, R compiler, I'm using R Studio here, and this is sometimes called munging data. I'll paste it into here, I need to end this data with a, a parentheses, and then after each one of these numbers I need to have a comma, so I'm just using the up arrow to go along and plug in these commas. And then what I'm interested in having is I want to build that into a vector. That's why I was putting those commas in there. It R could, could now operate on this. It's going to be happy with things like that, but for my readability, I might want to clean this up a little bit and regroup these in to something like this. I like to have a space between a number and a comma. And just for my readability, I like to line things up like that. Okay, now all of that arrangement was just to make it more readable for me. I'm going to need to, to build a, a vector for y as well. So let's come back to the spreadsheet. Let's be sure that we're copying the entire vector. The commas between the numbers is what's essential for R to have. I'm, and that's got to be the vector Y. And I'll rearrange these so that they're over here. <laughs> I'm always worried that I'm making a mistake. What I could do here in this particular script is to... Uh, to double check and at least make sure that the length of each of these is the same. So we're interested in looking at the length of x and the length of y. I can now run that script uh, and at least they're both the same length. So I don't need these in my script. I was just doing that for a check. But now once that's there, there's some tremendous things that I can, can find very easily. Now that we've got uh, the vectors x and y created there, we can easily find the correlation. Just use the, the core function. <coughs> uh, often we use the variable r. Uh, in that case, I need to shout out r if I wanted to see it. But I could now look at r squared, <coughs> the coefficient of determination. And we can look at those two values real easily. There's r and there's r squared. We've, we've talked about building the regression line, and that's just done by, by looking at the linear model of y being predicted by, that's a tilde, x. Then it gives a bunch of output here. It's telling us what the y-intercept is. That's the b value in a y is equal to mx plus b equation, and the coefficient on x, that's the slope. So there we've got the slope and the y-intercept. We could plot x and y. Rearrange that so that you can see it. There's some things that are missing in this particular plot. There should be a title, and I should label the x and y axes in the script we can add an AB line is the command that would work there. 
And let's just add an AB line of the linear model of Y predicted by X. And there's the regression line. The, the purpose of this video was to, uh, to show how to take some data and some of the tools that might be useful in munging that data. When we attempted to copy the data, we weren't really able to copy a column at a time just because of the way it was being displayed for us. But we were able to copy those two columns, paste them into a spreadsheet, and then be able to copy the data from, from those columns in the spreadsheet and uh, paste them into R and, and mug them from there. That, uh, that getting the data into R is a particularly challenging part of this problem. Then once it's there, once we have those two vectors, x and y, then it's easy to find the correlation coefficient. It's easy to find the linear model. It's easy to plot the data, and it's easy to plot the, the line, the regression line. Okay. Hope that helps.